It might be. That's gonna be a nut fish. All right, yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, he's pulling. He's pulling, let's see. So this is the Alpha Angler Clutch. I have a Tatula 70 on it. Now this setup is perfect for this 3.8 Kitec. Quarter ounce jig head. Straight up launches. Straight up launches. This is the best rod for this technique and honestly this is my favorite rod altogether for highland reservoirs it's got a unique taper to it because it just straight up launches your baits still has what i consider a fast taper but it has backbone in the blank to really get fish up. I've caught some good spots, some good wipers. And them hybrids pull. I'm only using eight pound line. Eight pound line with this guy. But it straight gets it done. I have never held a rod that casts this presentation. Quarter ounce, jig head. I use the Dirty Jigs Guppy Head on a 3.8 Kitec. No other setup launches it like this one. It's due to the taper of the rod. Just launches a Kitec to another stratosphere. Now we need is a fish. Sucker sink. Got something here. What is this? What is this? Stay down now. What we got here? A little, little spotopotamus. Yeah, a little, a little spotopotamus. All right. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We will be reviewing. It's the Alpha Angler Clutch rod. And um, this rod, I am thrilled to do a review on because not many people know about this rod. This is a sleeper rod for sure. It flies under the radar. A lot of people don't even know the company. They're not familiar with the company. Um, I'm going to try to keep this review as simple as possible. I don't want to get too technical. I don't want to get too crazy because at the end of the day, do we really care about that? We just want to catch fish. We want to have fun. But we want to have the perfect rod for the perfect applications in some instances 
This rod is my Kitec rod. I'm calling it right now. This is the best Kitec rod you will ever use. This is the best rod altogether. The best rod for fishing Highland Reservoirs that you will use altogether. Quick little breakdown here. So it's seven foot five. I don't know if you're gonna read that. It's labeled medium fast. I believe it's five eighth up to five eighths of an ounce is what it's rated for. That's accurate. It's rated one fourth to five eighths. That is the sweet spot. This is where this rod gets crazy. So I use a uh, quarter ounce jig head with 3.3 um, to 3.8 Kitex. As you can see in the video um, that I broke down while I was on the water, it straight launches these things, man. But it's the craziest part about this rod. Craziest part is that it had it's a fast action, so it's shutting off like you know, sh shutting off. You got all this rest of the blank, so sensitivity is going right there. It has a a fast action, but deep down into the backbone of the rod, when you hook up a really big fish the rod is doing the work and this is something that I believe is like a it's not exclusive to this brand but it is something that this brand prioritizes alpha angler as a brand they're they're centered around tournament fishing high-level bass fishing guys right Brandon Polinick, uh boomer Jake boomer the, uh, the owner um, a few other guys too but they very very notable and respected guys they build these rods and it's just as prevalent with their spinning rods too, but they build these rods not just for the lures that you're using, not just for, you know, your convenience, your comfort. They're building these rod blanks to get more fish in the boat. They are putting a lot of time and effort into these rod blanks, effectively keeping the fish hooked and getting them into the boat because they, they fish high level tournaments. They're fishing for a lot of money on the line. They need to get every bite in the boat. And that is something that with this rod I noticed. It is very, very obvious because it is a, it's a finesse rod to me, right? But I've hooked up big fish, wipers. Um, I use the spinning rod for the majority of my kayak fishing. Prior to owning this rod, I used the spinning rod for the majority of the 2.8, 3.3 kayak. And a lot of times I just couldn't get the fish up, you know, effectively. It, it was a long fight. I'm an ultralight guy, so I do love a long fight. But this rod, it's like it has lifting power. It has torque in the backbone. And when I was starting to hook up on some good hybrids, one thing I realized, the parabolic bend with the backbone and, the, and all the work that they put into making this rod what it is, it almost paralyzes the fish that's something that i noticed it almost like the fish wants to fight me but it can't fight me the way that it wants to and that is just something that i realized bar none it's just the research and development that they put into this thing um i know they do the same thing with their spinning rods they uh i think it's called the tag mag tech mag uh, it's a seven foot six. It's very similar in rating to this rod, but they built that rod to not only be able to set the hook from a long, a long cast, similar to how I use this rod, a long cast, but keep the fish pinned to get it in the boat. That is a lot of things like when you become a more experienced angler, you start to realize those things and you start to really get a, a fond appreciation for, for, um, that kind of stuff. So yeah that's one thing i noticed it not only it's not only a joy to fish but it's it does its job very very on a perfection level honestly that's just the best way i could put it i knew when i made this video not many people are probably gonna watch it uh, but i also knew that there's not another rod that i've ever held that's on this class of uh just bang for buck everything for this highland reservoir techniques this rod was originally designed to be like a heavy duty drop shot for Brandon Polinick, one of the top Bassmaster Elite uh, tournament anglers. But they found how good it was at like finesse swim baits, right? When I read that, I was like, hmm, I could do either or. Like I could, I could use this rod for either or. 
I put on a Kitek, the rest was history. It's 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 never going to see another uh, another bait, personally. It's never going to see a bait, another bait other than the. I mean, I may use something else other than a Kitek, but the finesse paddle tail. Uh, it'll never see another bait. It doesn't need to. This is literal perfection. Uh, I also chose to make this video because with the advent of forward facing sonar, technique specific uh, patterns and strategies are going to be. This rod's got it written all over it. This rod's got it written all over it, man. Uh, a lot of people are going to be fishing. How I fished prior to like, I don't want to call it live scope abuse, but like you, you fully utilize on live scope. This rod was perfect for it, but now it's going to allow people to uh, get those long casts, get the target cast. It's incredibly accurate for its length, seven foot five. It's incredibly accurate. Now you've even beaten the bank docks a lot of stuff it's incredibly accurate um but it just has the i can't say it any other way the best of both worlds they put a lot of research in high level guides i'm a big fan of their wrapping and their matte little finish here uh the eva it's a good eva the rod real seat sorry the real seat's high quality i never have any issues with the real seat i just love the finish too it, it it goes really well with this reel. That wasn't intentional. I could have the ugliest looking rod and reel combo. As long as it works, I'm fine. But it, but it definitely doesn't hurt that it's a, you know, a beauty to look at. I like the finish on the uh, reel butt there. Um, but yeah, the thing with this company too is that they are a direct seller. They don't have... You can't go into Cabela's and see them. You can't go into like a high stick tackle shop and see them. They are they sell direct to their customers, so it brings down that markup because uh, their dealers that like will sell like a, a rod. We use like Saint Croix G Loomis as an example because they're they're obviously one of the most prominent. The person holding the rods on their showroom has to make money too. We all know that. So there's. They avoid the markup, and as a result, you get a rod that, like, if you were to compare it to something else, you have a rod that is in a class higher than what it's priced at. These are about mid to high $200 rods. I wait for the holiday sales. I got this on the holiday sale. <laughs> Hopefully, they're tournament anglers that they uh, that build the rods and help, help them uh, develop the rods that are, like, the sponsor tournament anglers. Hopefully, they do well, because when they do well, they typically do a, uh, a discount as well. But hopefully all that works well for you know their future tournament anglers. I'm big fans of all those guys. Keep your eye on on that too. But essentially, you're gonna get a rod that should be priced 20 to 30 percent more than what it is, even at full price, because they don't have the uh, retail distributors selling their rods. They sell straight to the customer. Huge fan. I'm a big rod component guy. Huge fan of these guides. I know they spend a lot of time. Uh, figuring out the perfect guides. Uh, I know that the Boomer, the guy that that owns uh, Alpha Angler, he's a he's a persnickety guy. He's but he's good. He's highly regarded. Uh, it's just a good rod. I don't know how how else to explain it, man. But I know if you use Kitex, it don't matter if you're here with the Highland Reservoirs that I have. It don't matter if you are. Dude, this would even be nasty on like ledges, man. Uh, classic ledges. Show them something that they're not they're not seeing all the time. Uh, all the way up to like Smalley Land. This thing will wreck them, man. But it just it has the perfect taper, perfect balance. It's a joy to use all day. I can't I can't uh I can't rate it any higher than than how I feel. It's a 10 out of 10, 100 percent. 10 out of 10 rod. If this is something that uh, interests you, it sounds good, don't even hesitate, man. Honestly, it's just, I paid for this out of my own money, and uh, I have no regrets. I wish I could have three of them. Unfortunately, I like too many different, uh, I like too many different styles and techniques. <laughs> I can't have three of these, but it's a beauty, man. So here's one quick, uh, one more overview of this. Hopefully you guys can see that. Alpha Angler Clutch Rod, seven foot five, medium fast action medium power fast action sorry but it has the perfect backbone and template man 
do not hesitate. I feel like most people that are watching this video are going to be searching for it intentionally. Uh, and if you do, any of the Alpha Angler rods, if it fits your technique, just go ahead and give them a shot. They're uh, a smaller company. They, uh, put, they put way more time and effort than than other rod companies that I've seen. It's just they are fully dialed in on providing a great product, and I believe that they deserve some more business. So uh, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all take care. Have a good one. Thank you.